In this lecture, I am going to deal with deleting a task. So the last method here. Here I also need the Entity Manager to perform uh, saving entities to the database. And I'm not going to use here Repository because the only method I'm going to use is uh, Remove method, not any Select methods. In case more complicated select queries, uh, then repository would be useful. For example, if I wanted to do uh, order by queries or group by queries, then a repository would be useful. In case uh, very simple database operations, I don't need a repository. And what I want to do here is to run remove method with the ID element. and make uh, the actual saving to the database by using flush method. And I'm going to redirect back to the list of all tasks. Uh, pay attention to this thing. Here in the switch status method, I also could make it without uh, this line of code. I just wanted to show you two methods of retrieving objects from the database. Here I take uh, the object from the database manually by its ID, and this is one of the way of doing so, but Symfony is uh, able to find automatically the required object using so-called param converter. If I provide here not integer as ID but the object, then Symfony will automatically find it for me. Remove method is gonna take PHP object, not integer. This is a param converter in Symfony. And this is the second way of retrieving objects from the database. It is much easier to use. Here I didn't do this, I just wanted to show you two ways of getting objects from the database and how to manually get objects from the database. And definitely it is much nicer and shorter to use a param converter, which means that Symfony is going to find the required object for us, and this is going to be here as the argument of the remove function. Let's save it, and check if we are able to remove the task. Yes, let's add some task. We are able to update the task. We display list of tasks, add new task, and delete the task.